Gene Graphic is, is really a concerted scientific effort to make sense of what is in many ways a deceptively simple basic human question. Where did we all come from? You know, I think everybody asks themselves at some point, you know, how did we get here? Why are there so many different types of people, languages spoken around the world? Why do we look so different? And so on. And we're using the tools of science, and particularly the tools of molecular genetics, to answer that question, to tell the story of our species, in effect. How we started off as a small group of hunter-gatherers in Africa 60 to 70,000 years ago, and how within the last 60,000 years, we've scattered to the wind to populate the world, and in the process, increased to six and a half billion people. Well, it depends on how far back you want to go. I mean, when I was a kid, I, I was fascinated by history. I saw the King Tut exhibit, the Tour of the States, back in the late 70s. And, uh, you know, came away from that just totally obsessed with the past and the idea that maybe I could travel back in time and imagine myself at the, the time of King Tut 3,500 years ago. And uh, read everything I could on ancient history and the Middle Ages and all sorts of other things and was con convinced that that was the direction I was headed in. And around the time I was 9 or 10, my mother went back to school to get her PhD in biology. And as you do sometimes, you know, your kids go into, the, into work with their parents. I went to the lab with her and I discovered that science is really kind of cool. It's really fun. You know, it's about solving puzzles on a daily basis and what kid wouldn't like that. And so I decided that I, you know, I was interested in science, but I didn't want to give up history either and I wanted to combine the two. So use science as a tool to study the past. And that led me to study genetics in college, which is kind of the historical branch of biology, if you will. We get our DNA from our parents. They got it from their parents. And so it traces this lineage back in time. And um, studied population genetics, which is the study of genetic variation in natural populations for my PhD. And by the time I was finishing up my PhD, I was convinced that this was going to be, you know, the main tool for studying human origins and how we populated the world. And went out to Stanford and did a postdoc there and ran a research group at Oxford and followed a typical academic path and then ended up making a film, The Journey of Man, which aired on PBS in 2003. And off the, the back of that film, which was a co-production with the National Geographic Channel, I started talking to National Geographic, not the media people, but the missions people, the people who funded over 8,000 research grants, who funded the Leakey family, who funded Jane Goodall, all these people over the years, about the work we were doing, the scientific work. And they literally asked me this open-ended question, if you could do anything next, what would it be? And I said, we need more samples. We need to sample the world's DNA. We need to increase our sample size by at least an order of magnitude, study hundreds of thousands of people around the world in an effort to figure out how we populated the planet. And that was the, the genesis of the Genographic Project.